Hi, this is Jack. Why the reptilians did not cooperate? First, let me explain the particular heading of my interview. Um, the reptilians, the Anunnaki, they stole some of the invisible college, um, etc. that <clears throat> are not in the process, so to speak. Um, they're busy. Okay, let's just say they're they're not part of process. They're kind of on the outside, um, locking themselves into their own enslavement. So why did the Anunnaki not cooperate in any of the processes whatsoever that has been done in the dimensions? Or, in, or on earth here, why are they not supporting oneness and equality in any way whatsoever? It's because they've got patience. That's the one thing evil has, is patience. Have a look. I've placed this entire existence, human beings, since the beginning into action, into manifestation, to have human beings get here where they are right now. That takes patience. A shitload of patience and a shitload of certainty. But what is that certainty and that patience? Where does it come from? The certainty and patience of the knowing that human beings and dimensional beings won't stand up, but will give up and fall at one single point of challenge of themselves as who they are. What is that one point? Fear. Fear of self. It's the one point where the certainty and patience of the Anunnaki and all, as it would be referred to as the deceivers of life, <laughs> the deceivers of existence as themselves. Um, and have a look at the world. I mean, have a look even at certain human beings. Anyone standing up? Or is everything just getting worse? The latter. Everything is getting worse. No human being is standing up in this world, taking responsibility because they fear themselves. And that's the certainty that the Anunnaki, as the evil of patience as a trait, have. And they still have it. That's why they won't change. Because in some way, they know what they've set in motion here is going to play out. Even if it destroys everything, they don't give a fuck. Because they know that we'll be coming back and doing this again. And they'll be in their same position. And thus, human beings. That's why the Anunnaki is just not cooperating. Or even, you know, for instance, those that participated in the Invisible College. There's quite a few beings who are just not cooperating because they have that certainty still existing within them. And they refuse to. That human beings will give in and give up and not stand up. And that's a certainty that they've had since the beginning of what they've put in. The honor of their creation as the consciousness, existence, as the mind. Human beings won't stand up. No. Or will you? My question, because if the Anunnaki are still not giving a fuck, not cooperating, then certainly they must have some form of certainty within them, patience, just waiting, till human beings manifest their own end of the world. Human beings, who are you? And they allow that being to be right? You can allow yourself to be subject to systems, to consciousness existence, or are you going to endeavor finding who you are as life? It's the question. So it's all up to us whether we make it or we don't. We'll do it again. Personally, I really don't because I'm a little bit tired. Just a little bit. <laughs> Not tired exist, but it exists from a certain perspective. So, are we going to do it again or not?
सब्जी थैंक यू वेरी मच